and the company demolishing what is left of that property hopes the cleanup will have an impact now on the surrounding area. The property sat untouched for several years and two massive fires damaged it even further. Two News reporter Adam Reif is live at the site with continuing coverage of what's next. Brooke and Mark, the demo company says this site could be clean in about a month, but there are still many properties in the surrounding area that still need serious repair. John Scott has demoed hundreds of properties throughout the area, and he says this kind of project could be the first start to transforming the area. I think a project like this will uplift the value of the entire neighborhood and will not be such an eyesore. The demolition of the Hewitt Soap Factory building is still a few weeks away from completion, but John Scott can see a clean site. Scott's demo company, Blade Cutters Inc., has cleaned up hundreds of sites throughout the area, and he says fixing a blighted property can spark a change in a neighborhood. People invest in houses, so it'll be uh, the neighborhood will be reinvented and uh, look a lot better once they're done, and property values will go up all around. Reaction was mixed from the neighbors and nearby employees we spoke with. They didn't want to go on camera, but some were skeptical that change would come quickly after the building sat largely untouched for years, adding they don't know if developers will want to come to the neighborhood. But Scott is confident change will come. I've noticed a lot of people are uh, rehabbing houses in the neighborhood. There are a lot of neat houses. And I think this area is the next uh, big area to be developed and uh, reinvented here in the Dayton area. I reached out to the city of Dayton today. A spokesperson says the city is not involved in this demolition project, and so far, no public plans have been announced for once this project is complete. Live in Dayton, Adam Rye, 5 on 2.